1980, I was in an auto accident. I had been in a terrible, terrible, frightening uh, relationship. I had lost everything. I went to London with my two then teenagers to do bicycle trip and to try to put my life back together again. And I was in a head-on collision in a rainy night in Kingston outside of London. And I was declared dead. And they kept things to try to resuscitate me, but as far as they were concerned, they told, turned to my children and said, your mother's gone. What happened when I was gone is as present with me right now today as it was then. It fills my life every day. And I almost cry every time I think I s start talking about this, but it was love to the millionth power. What happened to me was like, be, if you can envision when you were in love with somebody and you were close to them on a beautiful day with the sun shining and you look in their eyes and you take that moment of feeling and you multiply it by a million, you get a sense of that kind of love. And I was trying to use any kind of image. I was in a writing class and this friend of mine said, well, just put it down in words, but I couldn't concretize it. I couldn't make it something, I, I quantify it. I said, well, maybe a baby wrapped in satin and laughing. I mean, to the millionth power, that kind of love. Or um, when you're lost in music and you've heard a symphony and it's so beautiful and you can almost cry, it's so gorgeous, and you just kind of become lost in the symphony. That is a sense of the kind of love that I experienced for what turns out to be 10 minutes here. But it was, it, over, it still overwhelms my life. It's all that matters. So when I came back, it must be what it's like being born because light was harsh. There was a separate self. That was very harsh. There was, I could feel gravity. Just, I could feel the blood rushing through this body I have. And it was... And there were almost two stages to coming back. One was where I came back, and the nurse turned to the physicians, oh my gosh, and they realized that I, I was here. And, and the second stage was later when they wheeled my two children. My son, Chris, had a broken femur and a broken arm, and my son, Tim, had his little bottom bumped. And when I saw them, then I went funk here. I mean, I was completely here. But until they, I actually saw those I adore, I wasn't totally here. I was here, but not here. 